Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video, we're going to study the repeated subtraction algorithm for division. It's also called the continued subtraction algorithm. And in the end of this lesson, I will show you how it actually has the same steps as in long division, regular long division algorithm. You probably know that multiplication can be thought of as repeated addition. For example, 4 times 2, you can think of it as 2 and 2 and 2 and 2, right? 4 times 2 steps. Now, division is the opposite of multiplication, and so it can be thought of as repeated subtraction. Like here, you start at 8, and you subtract 2, subtract 2, subtract 2, subtract 2, as many times as you can until you hit 0, or cannot anymore. So we ask how many times are you able to subtract 2 from 8? And the answer is 4 times. So that is the division answer, 4. Let's look at this example. Bag, 771 apples, 3 apples per bag. It is a division problem. We could divide 771 divided by 3, right? But let's think of the repeated subtraction. Because we can, could solve it by subtracting 2. We could take the apples and subtract three apples, or put those three apples into a bag. And then subtract three more apples, and they get put into a bag. And so on. Three apples into one bag, and so on and so on. Subtract three, subtract three, and keep count on the bags, how many bags we're going to use. And then, ultimately, after a long while, we would hopefully have zero apples, or one apple, or two apples. So... As you can see here, this would take a long time, right? Oh my, subtracting three, subtracting three, you know, keeping count on the bags. But fortunately, there is a quicker way to subtract. This is going to be the continued subtraction algorithm now. And instead of subtracting three apples per time, let's take 300 apples, put them into 100 bags, and get done much quicker. So let's put 300 apples into 100 bags, and subtract the 300 apples from our count of apples. So we get 471. And I can do the same again. Another 300 apples can go to another 100 bags, and I get 171 apples left. And now, I can't anymore subtract 300 apples, but I can subtract 30 apples at a time, right? Take away 30 apples and put them to 10 bags. 141 left. Another 30 apples and go to another 10 bags and 111 left. Another 30 apples can go to another 10 bags, 81 apples left. But it's still gonna take quite a long time and I ran out of space. But there is still a quicker way to do this. You see, I could subtract these 300 and 300 in one go as a 600, right? And right here in my count of bags, 200 bags. So I get here 171. And then instead of subtracting 30 and 30 and 30, I can think of the multiples of 30. How many multiples of 30 can I subtract here? 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, right? 150. So I can actually subtract in one go 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. You know, 5 times 30. And they go into 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 bags, 50 bags, right? Okay, and now I'm left with only 21 apples, and that's easy now. I can easily see that 21 apples will need to go to 7 bags. Now I'm all done. Now here I look at my count of bags and get a total of 257 bags. Here we have 548 apples, and they go four in each bag. This is basically the division problem of 548 divided by four. But we're going to solve it here using subtraction, continued subtraction. Okay, first of all, like over there, I'm going to take 400 apples and subtract all of them at once. And they would go to 100 bags, right? So I have 148 left. Now I could subtract 40 apples and 40 apples, 40 apples. But let me think how many times I can subtract 40 apples. Okay, 40 apples, 80, and 120. 120 apples. 
and these 40, 40, 40 apples go to 10, 10, 10 bags, right? 30 bags. Okay, and we subtract, and 28 apples left. Now it is easy, if there's 4 in each bag, I need 7 more bags. All down, no more apples left. 137 bags needed. And that is our answer, quotient. Lastly, I'm going to show you one more problem of continued or repeated subtraction and compare it to our regular long division. And we will see that actually the steps are identical. The exact same thing happens in long division as in continued subtraction done this way. Though continued subtraction, you can do it in many different ways, like you saw here. You can subtract 300, 330, 30, 30, or 600, 150. This is the most efficient way of doing it, and that's what we will compare with long division. This is a division by five. Basically, five apples go to one bag, okay? So I will first subtract 500. That means 100 bags. I'm left with 100, 127 apples. In long division, I will do the same. I will subtract the 500 apples. But long division goes like this. How many times does 5 go to 6? One time, right? But that 1 means hundreds, because it's in the hundreds place. So let me write it out as a full 100. And then we will go 100 times 5 is 500 and subtract. And we will get 127. Okay? Now, we cannot anymore subtract 500 apples, so we'll think of 50 apples. I can subtract 50 and 50 apples, right? Two batches of 50 apples. And they go to 10 and 10 bags, or 20 bags. Over here I would be thinking, how many times does 5 go to 12? In regular long division you don't have this 7 here. And I will get 2 times. I will put it here. I would put it here, but now I'm going to write it here and write it as 20 because the 2 is in 10's place. It means 20. And 20 times 5 is 100. Subtract, and 27 here. And then we will continue bagging the 27 apples, and um, we will get 5 full bags, right? Subtract, and there's 2 apples left over that didn't fill a bag. Over here, how many times does 5 go to 27? 5 times, 5 times 5, 25, remainder 2, okay. And now, let me erase the digits that we usually don't write in long division. We usually don't write the zeros here, nor this 7, okay. Now you see how it looks like normally. But the steps are actually identical to this subtraction. Long division is an algorithm of subtraction, okay? So I hope this will help students understand why long division actually works.